My name is Nathan Danielson. I'm a product support specialist here at RealityWorks, and today I'm going to spend a little time with you talking about our bovine birthing and ultrasound simulator. The simulator is used to give students hands-on practice conducting bovine ultrasounds and birthing techniques with a variety of calf positions using pull straps, and it can also simulate using sensing technology 14 ultrasound situations and students can diagnose bovine pregnancies and common issues. The trainer can help students prepare for future careers, including herdsmanship, veterinarian, dairy and livestock, beef and dairy cattle farming, agriculture specialist, and more. So what comes with the bovine birthing and ultrasound simulator? You have a portable tabletop size birthing simulator. You have a removable ultrasound track. And also the birthing reproductive track. You have the birthing calf model. It is lifelike, has the weight of a newborn calf, and has joint-like movement in all extremities. You can even feel the ribs inside the calf there. The skin is made of neoprene, so it slides easily out of the birthing canal. You have birthing tools, straps, handles, ultrasound simulator, which is the tablet and the probe that comes with it. There are storage bags for both the tablet and probe and the unit itself. It comes with a one-year warranty and you have full access to our online uh, bovine birthing and ultrasound curriculum that comes with the unit as well. Now let's talk about setting up the bovine birthing simulator. First, to set up the frame, you want to unstrap the frame and the lower from the front brackets. Lower the front bracket until the brackets latch. And then you extend the frame out the rest of the way until the lower beams are straight. And then you insert the pull pins to lock the beam into place. Next, you don't have to do this for the ultrasound side of things, but you can insert the pelvic girdle if you desire. To do that, you just loosen these bolts and then you slide it into the frame. And then you tighten the bolts down. And lastly, for setting up the frame, Take this cross bracket, slide it into place, use the last three pins to lock that in place as well. Next, to install the ultrasound burning track. First, take the track and pull it from the back of the simulator. Then, use the bolts Oops. that come with the simulator. And that in place, and use one of the nuts to lock that down. You'll want to make sure when you push this through that the uterine track is the lower of the two. Once you have those bolts locked in place, you're going to attach the tracks to the front of the frame via the hooks up here. So first, we'll take the digestive track, run either loop to the front of the frame here, to either of those hooks, and then tighten it until the track sits level. You will want the seam side facing up. Next to the reproductive track, once again, you take those loops and you'll hook them to the hooks on the front of the frame here. You can simulate either an older cow by running the loops underneath the bracket on the center of the frame or a younger cow by running them straight over to the hooks. And then you just tighten those up until it hangs level. Next, we're going to take a look at the ultrasound tablet and probe. To access the admin menu on the tablet, you power on the tablet, you turn on the software, and as the software is opening, you'll tap the star on top of the RealityWorks logo. It'll open the admin menu for you. Once you're on that admin screen, you can tap where it says test settings in the top right corner, and this will list a group of over 20 different sets of scenarios for your students to practice and be assessed on. For each of those scenarios, listed on the left, you can tap the eye icon next to the scenario to review information in that information screen. There will be three different tabs. You will see under the question tabs, the question the student will be asked when performing that scenario and the answers, the one that is correct being listed in green. There'll be a description tab showing the description the student will get for the scenario they're working with and a history of the animal that they're working with as well for that scenario. 
to select the scenarios and add them to the test assessments that the students will have access to. Click on the arrow icon next to the scenario. A check mark will appear and it'll populate on the test side on the right hand side of the screen here. You can click on the bars on the right side of the screen for the test scenarios. And if you click and hold, you can drag them up and down to change the order in which those test scenarios will appear for the students. If you wish to delete a test scenario, you just swipe left on the scenario itself, and then you'll be able to click the delete button that appears on the right hand side. There is a factory reset button to change it to just the default scenarios. And there is also a random filling button to randomize the test scenarios on the right hand side for you as well. To set up the simulation side, you will want to tap the simulation settings at the top of the screen. You will see a list of 15 sets of scenarios for the simulation side of the ultrasound trainer. Tap the eye icon to review information regarding each simulation scenario, such as the questions that the student will be asked, along with the answers in green, description that explains what the scenario is and what they will be seeing on the ultrasound during simulation, and patient history. Select a scenario in the left column to add them to the test assessment that the students will have access to. Drag the scenarios up and down in the right column to rearrange them. Swipe left on the scenarios in the right column to remove them from the list. Tap Reset to Factory Default to reset the scenarios to the default settings. Scenarios can also be added and randomized by tapping Random Filling. To exit the Admin Main Menu and access the Student Menu, tap the X in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Now let's take a quick look at the student side of the app. First, you want to plug in the ultrasound probe to the tablet. You will see a prompt to allow the probe access to the tablet. Tap OK, then select which mode you'll be working on. Now to do one pregnancy diagnosis simulation. First, you'll the rectum with the probe. As you slide down the rectum, you'll see the images on the screen change, showing the different parts, the cervix, the uterine horns. Once you get over the part that you want, you can lower the probe and reach for the uterus to see either horn. You can rotate the probe to get different angles. And as you can see here, once you're in the right position, you can tell that this cow is not only pregnant, but has twins. And you can see not only does the cow have twins, but they each have healthy heartbeats as well. And just to go through that one more time. You'll take the probe for the rectum. As you slide down the digestive tract, the probe will pick up the different sections of the reproductive tract. Once you get to where you're looking to be, you'll look for that fetus. And in this cow here, once you're in the right position, you'll see in this scenario, there's a pregnancy issue and the fetus is dead as it has no heartbeat. Moving on to the simulation mode, you push the simulation mode button on that main student screen. In this mode, the student experiences real life ultrasound scenarios that they have to practice and diagnose themselves. At the top of the screen, you'll have patient history. You push that button and it'll just list the different scenarios by number and it'll give you information on the right of that cow. You once again have the zoom feature to focus on a specific so spot of the ultrasound frame and study details on the screen. And then you can tap next to move to another scenario, or you can open that patient history screen and move freely between the selected scenarios. Test mode is very similar to practice and simulation mode. You click the test option. At the top left of the screen, you'll see the test button, and those will list the different scenarios that the student can go through. And for each scenario, there will be a question and a multiple choice answer for them to select from. So once you have the selected scenario, you use the probe. You take a look to see what you're looking at here. And once you're at the right view and see the information you're looking for, you click that test button, you answer the question, and click the submit answer. And it'll tell you if you have that correct or if you have that incorrect.
All right, now let's take a look at the birthing side of the bovine birthing ultrasound simulator. First, you're going to want to attach the birthing track. That comes in two parts. You have the vulva itself and the track. What you do is you'll feed the pink part of the track through the back and you'll line up one of the grommets with the top hole here. You'll want to make sure you line it up so that the zipper side is facing up of the track. And once you've got that lined up, you'll take the top notch on the vulva, and push it through that. Then anchor that into place. You'll just go through anchoring each of the bolts on the model here through the holes with the notch you have. Then every third bolt is going to have one of these grommets slid through it on the outside of the frame, between the frame and the vulva, anchoring it into place. Once you have the backside hooked up and bolted down, you'll take the front of the birthing track and you'll loop the straps to the hooks at the front of the frame. Open it up there. And this is where you'll place the calf in the different birthing positions. A few of the calving positions that can be practiced with the simulator are normal calf presentation, posterior presentation, posterior presentation without feet, transverse presentation, feet presented, head turned back presentation. You'll also want to ratchet the simulator down, take these ratchet straps, and then on the back and the front of the unit, you can around the top, to underneath the table, and attaching them so that way the simulator doesn't move while you're simulating the birthing. You will want to place the calf inside the bag in the position you want your students to practice, and then zip the bag up. Once you have the calf inserted into the birthing track, you'll approach the back of the simulator. You'll reach in, feel for the position of that calf, feel for those landmarks. And I can feel that is a normal presentation. The calf is facing face first, feet up front. So I grab hold and start pulling the calf, feet and nose first. And then once I've got it in a position, I can start rocking back and forth, rocking up and down while pulling out your birth to this calf. Also attach the ratchet straps and using the hook to help pull the calf out and birth it. Finally, the bovine ultrasound and birthing simulator comes with online curriculum that includes lessons on calving stages, hair, common calving problems, calf embryology and development, and ultrasounds. Students will learn the foundational knowledge through PowerPoint slides, scenarios, class discussion, and quizzes. Then once ready, they can take what they've learned and practice their skills on the simulator. If you would like to receive more information about the bovine birthing and ultrasound simulator, please use the information on the screen and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you very much.